Hey, Radio Family, we've got a new way to win. Ace TJ Prime Rewards. Win great stuff like gift cards, Ace and TJ merch, concert tickets, and exclusive Money Can't Buy experiences. Win it all with Ace TJ Prime Rewards. It's so easy. Download the Ace and TJ Family app in your app store or at acetj.com slash app and start winning with Ace TJ Prime Rewards. New winners every week, fun and free. Get the app and play Ace TJ Prime Rewards. We always knew you were a winner. Now it's your chance to prove it. Get the app today. If it's trending, it's here now. now. This now. is Now Trending with Riggins on the Ace and TJ Show. So right now, the top trending topic is the Met Gala. The Met Gala was last night. If you don't know, it's a fundraiser they do in New York City where they invite a bunch of big celebrities and they dress in crazy outfits. And I am exhausted because I just got in. <laughs> I mean, I was there all night. I knew I had to be here for work this morning, and sure. I am just absolutely burnt. <laughs> Oh. Special guest. <laughs> so, yeah, they, and there's always a theme, and this year's theme was the Garden of Time or something like that. It's always wacky. Yeah. But the one celebrity that people are really people are really talking about is Kim Kardashian, who's a staple at these awards, uh, at this fundraiser. But look at her outfit, and tell me what you notice about her on the red carpet. There's um, one specific thing. What is it? <laughs> her waist is about the size of... A small yeah. side salad plate. Yeah, it looks I like mean, she can barely yeah. breathe. Oh God, yeah, I realize that now. Now that she she moved her arm a little bit. You can see. Yeah. Wow, it's incredible. I've never seen a waist this small on any person. Well, an she's, adult. Oh. she's wearing some sort of a of a, a binding thing. Good lord! And that's why I I bet she's having a hard time breathing. It yeah, has she, to be. If you look at her face as she's standing uh-huh. there taking pictures, she looks kind of uncomfortable. Honestly, <laughs> it looks ridiculous. You think? I think so. I don't think it looks attractive at all. But doesn't it have to, to be a part of this, you know, clown show, (laughs) Met Gala thing? But you're right. It it makes her look very uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. And her hair looks, dare I say, damaged. And, you know, it doesn't, it just (gasps) looks fried. Her hair looks fried. Take it back. Take it back. I'm sorry, man. I just, I don't know. I know that's not a good thing to say. <laughs> we got to wrap up the show now. <laughs> yeah, so people are accusing her of having ribs removed and all this kind of stuff. <laughs> well, but I, but, but who would be? Su- I wouldn't be surprised by that. By that, to get the I mean, perfect. The, yeah, the extreme kind of procedure, like because it only it's only going to go, uh, you know, more and more extreme as we as we go along. Hmm. And why not? Yeah, it's wild. Why, why? Why would it be unbelievable for her to do that? Yeah. Maybe she just broke some ribs to put, put it on. Yeah, maybe. she probably yeah broke ribs in while the, she was at the Met Gala. She had to bend over yeah. trying to breathe in that thing. <laughs> Popped a couple. Uh, Superman is also trending. Uh, they showed the first look at the new Superman in the DC universe, and uh, this is what the new Superman looks like. And Kind of looks like every other Superman I've ever seen. Correct. I don't know. I don't you know what he looks like? <laughs> Superman. Yeah. I don't know. This is a big reveal. Yeah. But people are very upset, saying the costume doesn't look right. Oh this God. is not the Superman I love. <laughs> it's baggy. Is that are are all those criticisms he, wait, accurate? He's sitting down. Yeah. I, How can you really tell if it's baggy? They said this reminds me of the CW Superman when the costume wasn't right. So is it off, Rob? What is it off? I don't think so. I think he looked he looked fine to me. Yeah. Okay. I don't like I don't like Superman to be honest with you though. All right, boring superhero. Oh yeah, yeah, boring. He's Super the worst. Man. He's the worst. But you do you do like Super Them though, right? <laughs> right. It's a big difference. You gotta gotta stay up to date. <laughs> Super Them. <laughs> I like Super Them more. But those are just a few things that are now trending. Oh, today's group therapy is just spectacular and very juicy from a member of the radio family who was asked to remain anonymous because, uh, you know, she'd like to have some time with her kids, but she can't because there is another. Her uh, opposite is always butting in. How do you handle something like that? Why did he hear the details of this? All coming up next. This is the, this is the Ace and TJ Show. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash Calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. 
four months, four months free. That's how it works with Calitrin. We're here with our friend Richard Takato of the Richard Takato Companies, and he's ready to save you some money, get you some money with an instant equity line of credit. How does that work, Richard? Best product ever. Oh, we, we take a little bit of your information. Uh, we find out if you get an offer or not. If you get an offer, you can decide what you want to do. Get your money four days later. Pay off credit cards. Do home improvements. I've done it. Yeah. It's super simple. And again, start to finish, four days, you get your money. Homewithrichard.com is where you get the process started. It's homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato Companies. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. Today's group therapy is juicy. We'll get to that in a couple of seconds. But if you have not checked out the Ace and TJ family app, everything is there. More than just the Ace and TJ show. More than just TJ's podcast every day at 10 a.m. Eastern. More than just Ace and Friends every weekday at 3 in the afternoon Eastern time. There are games you can play, ways you can win rewards and concert tickets and extra stuff and Ace TJ Prime and Ace TJ Prime Plus and so many different things. It's your... Just download the Ace and TJ family app. Uh, in your app store. And then again, as TJ pointed out, if I got to tell you that it's in your app store, you got bigger problems. Yeah, <laughs> <It's not> more, <laughs> yeah worse well, things going or, on in life. Or we're honored to be your very first app purchase. <laughs> or that. You're sorry. We're we'll looking at that. Or one. not purchase, but download because it's free. <laughs> free. It's Tuesday. The doctors are in. This, this is group therapy on the Ace and TJ show. On the Ace and TJ show. Okay, so this came to us last week, and this kind of feels like it's just in time for Mother's Day. It's kind of long, but we'll burn through this from a member of the Ace and TJ Radio family. Uh, it says, my adult child and their little family have the other half's parent living with them. When we go to visit, we also have to deal with this person. When in reality, we just want to spend some time with our family. This person butts into conversations, can be very rude as they say things under their breath. They have some medical issues, as do I. But it seems theirs comes on heavier when trying to get someone's attention. They expect the adult kids to wait on them hand and foot. This person has expected my partner to help at times. Excuse me, aren't they here to help me? They're fully busy. Of course, we have to share special days with this person being around. When sometimes we would just like a little time to ourselves as we don't live with them and get to see them every day. Uh, the person gets jealous if anything is done for me or if grandchildren pay me more attention Yet they seem to get all the time in the world with kids and grandkids get to take vacations, get better gifts as they pitch a fit if it's not a good enough gift. They get to tag along. I'm never asked to tag along for anything. None of us are promised tomorrow, but with my health, my odds are maybe five more years. I would just like to be able to spend this time without this person around a little more and be able to have memorable time with my family, our family, without this person butting in. Any suggestions? <laughs> My thought was, why can't you just go to your child and say, hey, you know, I've, I don't have a lot. I only got like five years or so left. Can we, is there a way we could just spend more time together, just us as a group, just like us as a family? Because I don't really get to lavish my full attention on the grandkids or on you or have this attention because this other person is always being involved. Just yeah. Be honest, talk to your child about it. It completely changes the dynamic. When there's a, a, an outside person there, you know? Yeah. So just say, mm -hmm. hey, or bump up the time you have left, you know? <laughs> Tell, <laughs> hey, you know what? <laughs> I only have six months to a, a year and a half tops. Yeah. So could you at least do that for me in this short time? That Fair works idea. because then after that, you can always go, look, we, we all miracle. know I'm living on borrowed time. Yeah, it's, like, a, yeah, no. it's a great idea. How much longer I have? They might say I'm, I'm. They say I might be gone tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> so, what are your suggestions? <laughs> At the ACTJ show, we'll get your thoughts, your answers coming up next. It's radio. It's a podcast. It's the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. More next. Hey, it's Ace, and for a long time we've told you about Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic, and how phenomenal a job they did helping me with my left wrist. Well. This is Neil. Neil Simler is a member of the Ace and TJ Radio family. Neil, you took the free consultation to have them check out your elbow and talk about what happened just when you went for the free consultation. Uh, they were very straightforward and let me know that they weren't going to treat any of my ailments if they weren't 100% sure that they were going to be able to 
effectively help my issue and uh, never weren't once were they pushy with trying to get me to spend more money and do, you know, the, the higher end shots. Now, three months later, how do you feel? I'm 95% better, if not 100%. You know, it's just been one of the best decisions I've made. Do yourself a favor. Get out there as soon as possible. Set up your free consultation today at acetj.com slash neogenics. It's N-E-O-G-E-N-I-X. Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic. The Johnson Group has been cleaning some of Charlotte's most prestigious businesses since 1985. Family owned and operated. Learn more at acetj.com slash clean. It's first class cleaning with the Johnson Group. All right, look at it. Live each weekday on your radio, anytime you want, wherever you get podcasts. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. All right, so today's group therapy, kind of make a long story short. Um, we have a woman, she and her significant other, uh, she's not in great health. And her kids have the other grandparent living with them. So, for example, if it's her daughter, it's her son-in-law's mom lives with the family and butts into everything, always looks for more attention, always takes attention away from the this, the Ace and TJ radio family member who has the problem here. So she wants to know how can she get more time with just her family without this other person around, without this other person butting into the situation. I mean, that should be easy to talk to her daughter. You would think about. so. That's just an easy conversation. I'm mean, just imagining what my mom would do. <laughs> my mom would have already said, like, the first time it happened, she would have been like, well, I mean, I thought I was going to get to see my kids and grandkids today, but evidently not. <laughs> oh, my mom. I love that. <laughs> my mom would be right well, on it. That would be smooth. It. It. <laughs> that would be smooth. Yeah. Um, but it's like she doesn't get enough time with y'all, and I have to share my time with her. <laughs> but, we're, <laughs> but we're not advocating that as a way to handle the situation though. we're not saying that's what you should do but don't throw that option away well, there's no yeah. need for me to come over there i'd never get to talk to the kids anyway because their other grandmother's always monopolizing their time <laughs> but oh, she know. doesn't <laughs> now the lady pointed out she's only got about five more years to live she believes due to health issues so as tj said his idea his suggestion was if you missed it which is bump up the time Tell them, I've only got a year and a half to live. Can, we going? I need to see my kid, grandkids a little bit more just by myself. Remember the date, September 13th. It's happening. Uh, mm-hmm. Linda said, is it possible to meet them for lunch or dinner? Maybe an overnight trip occasionally. Well, they've tried that, but the, the other person is always there. Uh, Cassie said, invite them to visit at your house. <laughs> They'd bring the other one with What if they bring her yeah, with them? I bet you they would. Hmm. Um, hmm. Yeah, and she said, some people can't see how you feel if you don't show them or tell them. So make a way for just your kids and grandkids to talk with you about it. Well, I would leave the grandkids out of it. Don't talk mm-hmm. to, about it with the grandkids. They don't need to be involved. But it is okay. You should talk about to your, your child about it. Go, hey, this is kind of struggling here. Yeah. Um, and then Brandy said, this might be an unpopular opinion, but this sounds like an it's all about me mindset mm-hmm. that you're claiming mm-hmm. the other parent does. No, I, most of the time I'm looking for that. Mm. But I don't think so in this one. I, I, I don't blame her. You know, why should you always have to spend time with your family with somebody else around? With somebody else around. Yeah, I mean, she's got her time. Yeah, and if the if the woman had any sense at all, the other lady had any sense at all, she would be able to assess the situation. Go, you know what? I need to just let them have some time by themselves. She needs mm-hmm. to be able to visit without me being around here. Right. But she's not a kind-hearted yeah. person, apparently. She's the one looking for the attention. Exactly. <laughs> That old bag. <laughs> um, so there is something that has gone, like, there's going viral. I don't like the term, but it's a great description. There's mega viral. And something that has gone, has gone mega viral that you first heard about from the Ace and TJ show that has just gotten bigger and bigger and bigger. And we'll give you an update next. It's radio. It's a podcast. It's the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. More next. Us back here again with Richard Takato and uh, the Richard Takato company. You like that, don't you? Yeah. Well, it's it's really Ricardo. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. 
So uh, we tell you all about uh, Richard all the time about what he can do for you, especially when it comes to this instant equity in your home. Yeah, the instant equity thing is just awesome. You get an offer. I don't have to hard pull your credit. I don't even need your social security number. It's simple. We bake you an offer. You can move it. You can, if you want to get less or you want to do the terms different, it's so easy. It's all electronic. You can close the same day. Get your money four days later. You know, we have a lot of listeners calling in, taking care of debt that way. We have people adding, you know, backyard barbecues, whatever they need. Now, listen to that. You call in, they set it up, your money's there four days later. It's all done essentially in one day and you're just waiting on the cash. It doesn't get any better or any easier than that. And it all starts by going to homewithrichard.com. That's homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato Companies. Currents is Lake Norman's number one lifestyle magazine. Every month, Currents brings you the latest news on what's happening in the Lake Norman area. They've been serving the Lake Norman community for over 13 years. See the latest issue of Currents now at lncurrents.com. Don't just listen to the Ace and TJ show. Watch it now available 24 hours a day on YouTube. Just search for Ace TJ TV. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. You want to be on the cutting edge of what's viral, what's happening. You need the Ace and TJ app. Why do I say this? Because every day there's the Ace and TJ show. Every day there's TJ's podcast. And every day at three in the afternoon, there's Ace and Friends. And last week, maybe a little over last week, early last week, Riggins brought us something that we discussed. That was a question that was beginning to get some legs on social media. Would you rather be stuck in the woods with a man or a bear? Mm. Mm -hmm. And that was the first I had heard of it. And it has exploded since then. Sounds stupid, but it is the, one of the hottest things that's happening right now. It is, there may be a million videos just about this question alone. Uh, on on TikTok, the man versus bear question. It's about how safe some women feel around men in general. Now, some of it is an exaggeration, but here's one to give you kind of an idea of how. Would it works. you rather be stuck in a forest with a man or a bear? Man is scary. Um, with a bear. Well, I've heard about bears. They don't always attack you, right? So maybe a bear. <laughs> Prob depends what man, but probably a bear. A hundred percent a bear, which is like terrifying to say, but. Definitely a bear. Some men are very scary out there. A bear. <laughs> I would say I would say a man. So the point of it is uh, how women feel about men. Supposedly, now a lot of them, like I said, they are joking, and that's one. There are eight women that are asking that. Seven of them say bear, and the other bajillion videos. Usually, it's just one person that's asked. They're just asking one person in particular about it. Uh, plenty of women are defending guys saying it's rid- a ridiculous question that's not really being answered honestly. But a lot of people are saying it's a discussion about how safe or unsafe women feel around men they don't know in general. Absolutely, that's what it is. And it's it's depressing. <laughs> yeah. um, well, it's because society has demonized men, especially masculine men, for so long. Uh, you know, the toxic masculinity and all that. And... Um, some of it boils down to the fact that they're not ever going to allow themselves to say they need a man for everything because of feminism. They would rather say, I need a bear more than I need a man because they just cannot bring themselves to say, yeah, I would I would need a man in that situation. Mm-hmm. That's what a big part of it is. Now, I think they're, they're saying that because they're delusional. Um because uh, I don't think they would pick a bear, and I said that the other day, because the bear won't listen to them. The bear walks off to go fishing and stuff like that, just like just a husband walks would. away. Yeah. <laughs> just like a husband would. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Ace and TJ Show. Everything you need to know coming up in Now Trending. This is the Ace and TJ Show. It's been a debate here for years. Does great furniture look good? Or does it feel good? Does it fit the style of the room good? Or does it sit good? Well, after years of debate and years of research, we've decided great furniture is good fitting and good sitting. Love where you live, Lake Norman, and get an Adirondack chair for just $279. In stock and ready to rock only at Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress. 
Create an unforgettable experience with the Cabarrus Arena. Learn more at CabarrusArena.com. Weddings, banquets, shows, expos, they do it all at the Cabarrus Arena. Learn more at CabarrusArena.com. If it's trending, it's here now. This is Now Trending with Riggins on the Ace and TJ Show. Happy National Teacher Appreciation Day. I may have made a colossal mistake yesterday when I announced that it was National Nurses Week and National Nurses Day, but that run that coincides with National Teachers Week. So I don't know. I think we got to let the teachers and the nurses fight it out. I mean, I don't think those should be the same week. I agree. Those are those are two big, big groups and they should be separated. It's yeah. a shame that they even have to share that week. What if you're a nurse teacher? <laughs> yeah, or a school yeah. nurse. Right. What do you do yeah. there? Well, if you're a school nurse, you're just a nurse. You're not a teacher. Oh, oh how dare you? Well, you're not. <laughs> it's like, so you're not a teacher. You're a nurse. <laughs> so National Teacher Appreciation Day. They have a bunch of TikToks instructing, teaching people how to give better gifts during National Teachers Week. <laughs> They do like little what tutorials. <laughs> teachers get together and they go, this is good. This is not as good. So wait, this is great. Wait, wait, wait. The teachers have put together their own videos of, of, of what's appropriate and how to buy better gifts for them. That's correct. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Well, that's, well, that's a good. little classless. I, I think it's great. So are the, um, you, what? the, the um, men teachers part of that too? It was, it was a man and a woman. Wow. The one I saw. That's bad. Starbucks mm. gift card. Great. Bringing him a coffee mug, not as good. Now, those were the teachers, you're sure, not the the room parents that are the ones in charge of buying the gifts no, for teachers. It was, okay. it, and it, and there, and it's a trend. It's like there's right. a lot of teachers doing that. Okay. All right. Well, really, I think the teachers deserve a gift in 2024 if they're not, you know, indoctrinating your kids to be little Marxists. <laughs> then they deserve a gift because they're fighting the good fight. <laughs> and then that would also be very cheap. But tell me, because chances are you wouldn't be having to buy very many gifts. <laughs> Doing a video telling people what what they should buy. Yeah, guys. it's all in good fun, right? No, that doesn't <laughs> sound like fun it. at all. <laughs> it's a shame. Uh, <laughs> Ryan Gosling's uh, The Fall Guy has bombed officially, bombed at the box office twenty eight uh, million dollars domestically. They said I think it took a hundred. What was it? it cost one hundred twenty million to make something crazy mm-hmm. like that. And yeah, it did not do well. And they said there's still hope overseas. You know, it can happen, but that is not a good opening. It was a weird subject to do. I don't know because I don't think the people that are going to go see this movie were familiar with the original Fall Guy. I mean, that was before I was born. And I think people going to see a Ryan Gosling movie are yeah. will will tend to skew a little younger yeah. after Barbie. But I think. That they changed it so much that it didn't have anything really yeah. to do with the original TV show, other than the fact that they call it the Fall Guy and he played a stuntman. It just looks hokey. Yeah, it, it looks like it's all you know. The AI looks bad in just in the trailer that I saw. And really? Yeah, it's just not. Yeah, the whole thing just comes off as almost like parody, like bad right. parody. Okay, was yeah. the original not goofy, funny like that? Uh, not really, no. It, it has some a, goofy, f- funny kind of. Was it a scenes. comedy? No, it was. No, a, it, it was, was an action. action show. It was just an action that had a little comic relief in it. Okay, from all right. Time yeah. To time. yeah, I didn't. I didn't know anything about the original, so I was not that surprised that it just yeah. bombed yeah. the way it, it did. It is a great concept. He plays a, a legitimate Hollywood stuntman who has to do bounty hunter work on the side. Okay, oh, to, I didn't even you know, know to make ends meet and all. Yeah, and so it, it gives you two kinds of action. Okay, the stunt world and the bounty hunting world. Yeah, so we'll see how uh, he rebounds from that. But uh, those are a few things that are now trending. All right, Riggins' dream pet has been found. We're going to see what it'll take to get him one. Coming up next. This is the Ace and TJ Show. Well, here we are, another new year, and you're, again, going to try to lose that weight you've been needing to lose for a long time. Well, here's what you need. You need Calitrin to help. Because Calitrin is not a drug. No, not at all. It is natural and effective. It's scientifically proven to help you lose weight and get better sleep. When you buy three months supply of Calitrin, you will get three months free right now. And consistency is the key with Calitrin. So order it today at acetj.com slash weight loss. It's Calitrin. Meal delivery services are a big thing right now, but Table & Twine is your local meal delivery service. The meals are fresh, not frozen like national chains. Plus, their meals start at just $7.99 a serving. Take back that time in your day. Leave the shopping, preparation, and cooking 
to Table and Twine. Get details at tableandtwine.com. That's tableandtwine.com. Available when you want it, how you want it. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. Make sure you got that Ace and TJ family app. There's all kinds of stuff on there. Just full-fledged, boom, 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 entertainment at you all the time. Yeah. Is that where the rewards are is on that app? Yeah. Riggins? So you can win all kinds of cool prizes with the rewards. <laughs> rewards and awards. Ha <laughs> All right. <laughs> so uh, go get that Ace and TJ family app. Now, uh, not long ago, um, we heard a story about a zoo in China uh, that got some controversy going because they had a guy in a bear suit out there pretending to be one of the bears at the zoo, you know, a real bear. And somebody said, hey, that, that bear uh, just took a smoke break or whatever it was. <laughs> That's not a real bear. Well, there's another zoo in China that has taken um, some chow chows. You know, those are Chinese dogs, chow chows. Yeah. And um, dyed their hair, their fur, and called them pandas and put them in a panda exhibit. <laughs> uh, Nobody will ever know. They're adorable as oh panda dogs, God. but who would ever believe that those were, uh, were uh, panda? You better go, panda. Okay, um, at a di- from a distance, I see how you might be fooled for a minute. Yeah, you're walking by quickly. <laughs> hey, pandas! They're tiny pandas, but yeah, pandas. They're baby pandas. <laughs> And so um, one of the, they were first um, uh, suspected of this when uh, one of the zoo goers said, uh, they move really fast for a pet. <laughs> <It's like, laughs> and they bark. Does that have anything to do you know, with your suspicions there, that the, the pandas are barking? barking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, the people at the zoo didn't deny what you know that they were doing that they just said we we don't have a panda exhibit and we thought that this would be the closest thing and and, uh put that out for the people to enjoy (laughs) and then of course people started saying well you just cruelty to animals you're dying their hair and you know all that and you know what they said Hmm. humans dye their hair all the time it doesn't hurt them it's not gonna hurt a dog they're fine yeah Yeah. and that is adorable right (laughs) Now, Riggins, I know you're not a, a fan of having the uh, Chow Chow as a pet because you could have had one, but I, that's you ended what up I, with the dog that you got. But I think it. your dog, the um, the Quezon, could be trimmed up and and have his hair dyed and all that could look like a pan. You could make that dog look like a pan. I've considered it. Because <laughs> <laughs> Riggins loves pandas, his favorite animals, yeah. and he sleeps with a stuffed animal every night called Pan Pan. That's so um, true. I do not love anymore. Bandas. And my old groomer, they used to dye dogs all the time. Yeah. Mostly poodles and stuff. But I thought whenever, whenever I see a dog dyed like a panda, I'm like, that would be adorable. Mm-hmm. You get a lot of attention like that, though. Yeah. It'd be fun. You have it out on the leash walking it? Sure. You talk about getting the chicks now. Oh, my God. If you're walking a panda on a leash, a baby panda down through the city. So cute. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, that baby panda has the runs. <laughs> yes, he does. Not a lot of bamboo around here in the suburbs of Charlotte. <laughs> it's cute, though. All right, so I think it's happened to most people. You're stuck on a plane, and um, then an emergency happens, not with the plane, but with you. So how do you handle that emergency that's going on inside your body? And you don't want to disturb the other passengers. Well, we have the exact answer of what you need to do coming up next. This is the Ace and TJ Show. Hey, it's Ace. And for a long time, we've told you about Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic, and how phenomenal a job they did helping me with my left wrist. Well, this is Neil. Neil Simler is a member of the Ace and TJ Radio family. Neil, you took the free consultation to have them check out your elbow and talk about what happened just when you went for the free consultation. Uh, They were very straightforward and let me know that they weren't gonna treat any of my ailments if they weren't 100% sure that they were gonna be able to effectively help my issue. And uh, never once were they pushy with trying to get me to spend more money and do you know the, the higher end shots. Now, three months later, how do you feel? I'm 95% better, if not, 100%, you know, it's just been one of the best decisions I've made. 
do yourself a favor. Get out there as soon as possible. Set up your free consultation today at acetj.com slash neogenics. It's N-E-O-G-E-N-I-X. Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic. If you want all of the heating, air, and electrical work in your house done by the very best, then you need Bradham Brothers. They've been a family business thriving for over 50 years, and that means they're doing something right. Go to Bradham Brothers. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. So... I don't know um, if this happens amongst um, other friend groups. It happens with us all the time here on the Ace and TJ show. We talk about um, horrible places to be uh, stuck when you have to go to the restroom, number two. You know, like at a concert festival or something like that. You know, we're always discussing that sort of thing. Um, I think at a... um, a rave when they had uh, rave clubs, they called them that. A rave club in Mexico is probably the worst that I've ever experienced being stuck where you uh, have yeah. to do that. Having been with you that night and seeing you in that moment, I, I can't even imagine how bad that was because you looked terrible. <laughs> and this was a <laughs> this was a Mexican rave club, not just a rave club in Mexico. This was a Mexican rave club that we were the only. Uh, white people in there, like they, everything was in Spanish, and we got we got taken by a, an insider into this area, somebody who knew the lay of the land. So y'all love this place, and it's not his fault, but it's really hard to party when one person is yeah. sitting there. Uh, his face is kind of green, and he's sweating, mm-hmm. and you know that he's an unbelievably uncomfortable. It's like, well, we can't yeah. be having a good time around him now. Yeah, I accidentally drank the water or something. <laughs> I don't know, but. I always think that um, a plane, being on a, a commercial flight, would be right up there with one of the worst places to be when the, when that has to happen. Would you rather be in a um, at a um, concert? Um, what do you call it? Concert festival than a, than a plane? No, a plane. I'd rather I'd rather be in a plane when that happens. Yeah. You Riggins? Uh, yeah. yeah. Fewer people, better access to a, a, yeah. a bathroom, and at least you can get some privacy. Cleaner. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. But, mm-hmm. but then you can't go home right afterwards, which is what I would want to do. <laughs> That's a good point, yeah. actually. That is, a, that is a fair point, Rob. Yeah, you, you mm-hmm. might embarrass yourself at the music festival, but you can go head out right afterwards. That's a really good yeah. point. Well, there's a guy on this uh, travel site called One Mile at a Time, and uh, he says the best time to do that on a plane is when they uh, start the uh, food and, and drink service. Because once the carts are in the aisle, the other people can't get out okay. into the aisle. So you minimize the chances of somebody standing outside, you know, waiting for you right when you walk out and that embarrassment of, you know, sorry. Hmm. You know, but doesn't that mean that you're not going to be able to get back to your seat for a while because you can't get past the <laughs> yeah. beverage cart? There's the chance. It, it does lead to that possibility. Just standing in the aisle yeah. as people are looking. It just kind of depends on the timing of the whole thing, you know? <laughs> yeah, you got to stay in the aisle and clinch. Uh, and then how do you know? I guess when you see them really, like, just first start to move the beverage cart, then you jump up and go out there. Because if you wait too late, then they're in the aisle already. You can't get you can't past get there. Them. Yeah. yeah. You just call out to the flight attendant, hey, miss, I'll have a Diet Coke. I got to hit it on the head over here. I got to, I got to drop, you know, pitch one off. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, E4 window seat, right. ginger ale. Yeah. I was going to say, just yeah. Yeah, ginger need, ale on ice. Some uh, soda crackers, yeah, just please. E4. Uh, Love your brat. day today, by the way. Yeah. I'll be back. I'll have the brat on the menu. Yeah. Bananas, rice, cakes, uh, <laughs> applesauce, and toast. Oh, bubble guts <laughs> coming through. Excuse me, excuse me. Yeah. This is the Ace and TJ Show. Our friend, the world famous Richard Takato, I'm sorry, Richard Takato is uh, here with us. And um, thank you so much for reaching out to Richard. We, he's telling us all the time about how many listeners are, are reaching out and saying, hey, show me about that refi and let's do some stuff like that. That's the way you put it, though. Show me yeah, about, exactly. that show about that refi. <laughs> what, what you got about that refi? <laughs> the, uh, 
So the, I mean, the cool thing is, is, is Ace has said, we have a lot of options and we have, re, you know, I'm doing refinances for people. You know, we have people down in Greenville, North Carolina. We have them you know, all, you know, at the beach at South Carolina. We have them in Charlotte. And the main thing is to refinance, make their finances better, make it, take the stress of every month. You know, if I save them $700 a month, $800 a month, it's a big deal for them. Yeah, it's a real big deal. $700 yeah. a month. That's fantastic. And again, yeah. we've talked about this before. Richard's a broker. That's how he gets more options than a bank. Yeah. He can do more. Just go to homewithrichard.com to get started. Homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato Companies. When it comes to buying or selling a house, you know, there, there are all kinds of people that can help you do that. But not like the Temple team at Keller Williams Realty. They are so much more than just real estate salespeople. Find out by going to acetj.com slash temple team. Live each weekday on your radio, anytime you want, wherever you get podcasts. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. Yeah, get it at the uh, Ace and TJ family app. Go get that. You get all of our stuff. Some stuff you don't even want, you're, you'll get. Just like when you buy a new smartphone. There's things on there, so much stuff you won't even use it all. Same with our app. So much entertainment, you won't even have time to get through it all in a week. I'm telling you. Now, I said entertainment. I didn't say good entertainment. I just said entertainment. Yeah, which begs the question, yeah. is it really entertainment if it's not mm. good? <laughs> yeah. Um, I know y'all have seen this because y'all, y'all are all over the TikToks and everything, but I just saw it yesterday. Um, the lady at the Sonic ordering a pickle Dr. Pepper. Yeah. Oh. Is that, has that been around for a while? You know? A while. Yeah, mm-hmm. not, not too long, though. But the question is, it's, it, it, it appears to be real. It doesn't appear to yeah. be a setup. Oh, yeah. No, no it's right. Right. I think it, yeah, it seems real to me. I know some people think yeah. it's a setup, but it seems real to me. You think it's because her accent was so thick? Maybe no, I just thinking think it was because she's very, very southern. Yeah, people online were just. I saw some of the comments mm-hmm. I've seen before. People are going, "That's not real." Like, and you it know, is real. You can't believe anybody with a southern accent. I'm gonna tell you, not from no matter what they say. <laughs> oh, I just mm-hmm. to it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, I, I think she's no. adorable. Uh, but she orders a Dr Pepper at at the Sonic. If you're a true southerner, you call it the Sonic. So she's at the Sonic. Ordered a, a pickle Dr Pepper, and the lady taking her order said, "Okay," and it was like she was used to that order. And she got the Dr. Pepper, and it just had pickles floating in it. And I, I'll try that. I love, oh, yeah. I love pickles. I got the same I, thing. I think Dr. Pepper is not my favorite uh, fizzy drink, but uh, I like it. From time to time, I crave a Dr. Pepper. Mm. I mean, crave it. Mm. Just like, ugh. I'd do anything for a Dr. Mm. Pepper. Mm. And then at other times, I'm like, I don't want that bubbly prune juice. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, well, you, the pickle one or just regular Dr. Oh, Pepper? No, don't, put, don't put pickles in my Dr. Pepper. Okay. Yeah. Well, I wasn't going to. Calm down. <laughs> don't, 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 don't put pickles in my Dr. Pepper. His what are you Dr. Talking Pepper about? With a dang pickle. One day you better not do put pickles in my Dr. Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> You'll draw back a nub is what'll happen. <laughs> you want to lose your life today? <laughs> don't put pickles in my Dr. Pepper. That's kind of what he sounded like. Wasn't yeah. it? Don't put pickles in my Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Don't, also, yeah. don't put coconut like that new one they got. Get that out mm. of there. Just regular Dr. Pepper. Um, if you're going to say it in a southern accent, Rob, you got to really go for it. It's doctor. Do- Do- you got to leave the doctor, doctor. sound out of the middle of it. And you can hear that lady when she says, Dr. Pepper, doctor. Yeah. I'm going to get me a Dr. Pepper with pickles. Dr. Pepper. Like like uh, Clarice says to Do- Dr. Yeah, Lecter. Dr. Le- yeah, Dr. Dr. Lecter. Like Dr. Lecter. <laughs> mm-hmm. Absolutely. Um but I'm gonna have to try that on the way home. I wonder if it works with the diet, Doctor Pepper. You know, because yeah. I'm so tiny, you know. Yeah. I can't handle a full sugary Doctor Pepper. Can you just try for part of it just for to see how it tastes oh, in this case, just for no, the little I, experiment? I could probably just make one at home. Everything's yeah. better homemade. You know how I, how I am. So and I'll I'll make a Doctor Pepper. Yeah. From we'll scratch, I'll get my Soda Stream <laughs> machine right. out, and I'll make a Doctor Pepper, and then I'll I'll pickle the cucumbers, and you know, do the whole thing, and make the Ooh. pickles, and then then do it. I bet it's a lot better. <laughs> sure, so. it is. Homemade Doctor Pepper and pickles. I can't help right now. I'm pickling. <laughs> <laughs> Would you put down the pickle and stuff? <laughs> But you better not put no pickles in my Dr. Pepper. <laughs> better, better not. <laughs> not my Dr. Pepper. This is the Ace and TJ Show. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. 
You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash Calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with Calitrin. They say there are only two things certain in life. Sweet deals at Sweet Dreams and taxes. And only one of those is certain this month. Which one? The Sweet Deals at Sweet Dreams. What about the taxes? No sales tax the entire month of April at Sweet Dreams. Are you serious? Yeah. And don't call me Shirley. Love where you live, Lake Norman, and pay no sales tax during the month of April. Only at Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress. If it's trending, it's here now. Now, now. This is Now Trending with Riggins on the Ace and TJ Show. So an interesting item has hit the auction block, a signed recital program uh, from the day OJ did not murder those uh, two people. Uh, He attended his daughter's dance recital on the day of the double murder in 1994. And that recital program was signed by OJ, and they expect um, they're going to start it at $1,000. So we're not talking big, big money. <laughs> yeah. But why would you want that? I mean, what? Who? Who wants that? And then why would you want that? Somebody wants it because they think it's going to be more valuable through the years. I mean, if it's not super valuable by now, it's not going to be. But that is weird so. to have that yeah. to I, say this was like this was signed the day he killed those people. And I think it's also a, um, you know being able to say I'm the only person that has one of these. Sure, this is the only one in existence, and I have it. Yeah, it's too morbid for me. It's not something Uh, I'd like to have. I just don't get it. Yeah, you're not supposed to collect autographs from (laughs) dirtbags. You know? It's weird. It is weird. Uh, The reviews are still rolling in from the Tom Brady roast. I haven't seen, unless you guys have, have you seen any numbers about how many viewers it did on Netflix? (coughs) No. No, I'm sure, though, that Netflix will say it's the biggest viewed special they've ever had that um, starred an athlete. Yeah. You know, they'll always come up with a record for everything. <laughs> they're pretty, uh, they, they hold those numbers, you know, pretty closely mm-hmm. unless they're huge. So I wouldn't, uh, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if they put out a PR um, statement saying like, yeah, this was one of the biggest things we've ever done. But uh, people, I mean, it's pretty much across the board. People loved it. The uh, Tom Brady roast that aired on Sunday. Why um, would he do that, though? Who, Tom? Yeah. He's pivoting. He's going to become more in the entertainment space. It's good to get him out there, bring him to a new audience. Yeah, but, I mean, just to put yourself out there like that and have people make fun of your your fall, your fall, failed marriage and your wife cheating on you, and I mean, yeah. all of that stuff, is that worth it? I mean, he's the greatest quarterback of all time. He hadn't done a single broadcast, and he's already been signed for hundreds of millions of dollars. Why would he need that? Why would he need that kind of attention? I just don't get it. I mean, more. It's, wouldn't what I would have thought he would have done first. More just, yeah. money. More money. <laughs> more money. That's why you do it. Um, are you settling in your relationship? We're going to find out next. This is the Ace and TJ Show. Our friend, the world famous Richard Takato, I'm sorry, Richard Takato is uh, here with us. And um, thank you so much for reaching out to Richard. We, he's telling us all the time about how many listeners are, are reaching out and saying, hey, show me about that refi and let's do some stuff like that. That's the way you put it, though. Show me about that refi. <laughs> what you got about that refi? <laughs> the, uh, so the, I mean, the cool thing is, is, is Ace has said, we have a lot of options and we have, re, you know, I'm doing refinances for people. You know, we have people down in Greenville, North Carolina. We have them you know, all, you know, at the beach at South Carolina. We have them in Charlotte. And the main thing is to refinance, make their finances better, make it, take the stress of every month. You know, if I save them $700 a month, $800 a month, it's a big deal for them. Yeah, it's a real big deal. Seven hundred dollars a month—that's fantastic. And again, yeah. we've talked about this before. Richard's a broker. That's how he gets more options than a bank. Yeah. He can do more. Just go to homewithrichard.com to get started. Homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato companies. Don't just listen to the Ace and TJ show. Watch it now available 24 hours a day on YouTube. Just search for Ace TJ TV. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. 
So yesterday there was a, a there's a podcast that TJ and his wife do called TJ and Jody's House, and it uh, airs every Monday uh, on the Ace and TJ Family app. Um, and yesterday it was good. It was a good good podcast. Uh, when you got her out of Louisiana the way you did, mm -hmm. rescued her, rescued yeah. her from <laughs> from her current situation. Did you ever get the sense that she was settling with you? Or that you settled with her? No. Or that you didn't find your one true love? No. Never even no. occurred to you, right? No, no. Not at all. And I hate to say that because I don't, I don't like bragging on her and stuff. But, yeah, I mean, and, and Ace was there. I mean, we we fell fast for each other. And, oh, yeah. And then it was just a whirlwind. Okay, well, it makes this statistic seem unbelievable to me. I can't imagine this is true. According to a new study, 73% of married people admitted that they have never found their true love and instead chose to settle with whoever they're with. 73% mm. never found their true love and decided to settle. Is that unbelievable? That's sad. Pretty yeah. sad, right? That they would, not only that they feel that way, but they would admit it to a total stranger that's going hey i'm yeah. doing a research or yeah. i'm doing a study it's anonymous. I, I, I wouldn't it wouldn't surprise me that much that they admit it because that's probably something that they carry around in their hearts quite often <laughs> yeah but i also think that they they are wham wham the people, know, people yeah understand. it's like okay my my husband made me mad today or he's always doing things that get on my nerves and and he's not thoughtful like i thought he was so he's not my one true love or my wife is not as affectionate as she uh, made herself out to be, so she's not the right choice for me. I settled for her because I saw these signs before we got married. It's a hindsight thing to where you need to to make it seem like uh, you were better to begin with than the one you ended up with. Hmm. It's an ego thing. Because I do think it's only settling if you know at the time. Like, yeah. You know in advance. Or, you know, when you're getting married, you know, this is my one true love, but you know, it's just... So work. You don't realize that later on that I don't think I could so. have done some. I could have done to know better. you settled. You had to have known that in the beginning. I think. Well, a woman on TikTok who's been in a relationship for almost six years has all the signs you need to know. If if uh, <laughs> oh. if you think you might have settled, or maybe you don't know at all, she's going to illuminate things for you next. This is the Ace and TJ Show. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash Calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with Calitrin. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. All right, so uh, did you settle in a relationship? There's a new study out that says 73% of married people admitted that they never found their true love and instead chose to settle with whoever they're with. Uh, shocking number, three quarters of the people said that they are absolutely settled in their relationship and not with the one true love. Uh, now, there's a woman on TikTok named Kristen, who's been with her husband for a decade, and she's got all the answers, so don't worry. Uh, she says she experienced um, what she calls what's now a trend, soul, soultism, so, soulmateism, <laughs> soulmateism. <laughs> she says she knew within the first few minutes that she was going to marry the guy that she married, hmm. and that's what you call soulmateism. And I think that's really sweet. <laughs> um she said she knew from the first week of dating him, uh, despite uh, getting hit with the soulmateism, she said she knew she knew that there were some folks still uh, romantically linked to people that they weren't with at the current time. And she said over the years, she's observed what it actually looks like when you've settled. And she's uh, explored this a little bit through a series of TikToks. Now she says that when she goes to bed every night with her husband, it's like a sleepover. It's that exciting to her that they shouldn't be doing what they're doing. Like it's um, not forbidden, but exciting and new every single night. And that's how you know you haven't settled. 
Um, let's see. <laughs> Every night after 10 years, she gets that excited. That's yeah. I think it's awesome. I don't believe her, but I think it's awesome. Um, what else? Well, it's so long. I got to read all this stuff. But you get the <laughs> idea. I mean, don't settle. Find the, find the person you really like and just move on yeah. with it. So we got one of the six. Yeah, I, I'm not reading all this. I just, you know, it's Tuesday. I'm not trying to do all that. <laughs> <laughs> there is a crazy story from Planet Fitness, though, coming up next. This is the Ace and TJ Show. All right, look at us back here again with Richard Takato and uh, the Richard Takato Company. You like that, don't you? Well, yeah. it's it's really Ricardo. <laughs> I mean. So uh, we tell you all about uh, Richard all the time about what he can do for you, especially when it comes to this instant equity in your home. Yeah, this equity thing is just awesome. You get an offer. I don't have to hard pull your credit. I don't even need your social security number. It's simple. We bake you an offer. You can move. You can if you want to get less or you want to do the terms different. It's so easy. It's all electronic. You can close the same day. Get your money four days later. You know, we have a lot of listeners calling in taking care of debt that way. We have people adding, you know, backyard barbecues, whatever they need. Now, listen to that. You call in, they set it up, your money's there four days later. It's all done essentially in one day and you're just waiting on the cash. It doesn't get any better or any easier than that. And it all starts by going to homewithrichard.com. That's homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato Companies. <laughs> Available when you want it, how you want it. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. Go get the Ace and TJ family app at acetj.com slash app. Or you can just go search for it in your app store. You can do a lot of things. You can listen to the show, watch the show, win great prizes. Like we just gave out a bunch of pairs of tickets to the Love and Life Music Festival this past weekend. And we've already got messages back from the people that won the tickets. Oh, my God, thank you so much. I've never been able to do this for me and my daughter. We had a great time. So that was so much fun. Now we're doing a signature spa experience package from the Hyatt-centric South Park. Uh, So it's like a one-hour massage, overnight accommodations, luxury upscale accommodations at the Hyatt-centric South Park. We're just giving that away to uh, one lucky person for their mom for Mother's Day. So that's amazing. Ace TJ Prime Rewards on the new Ace and TJ Family app. Uh, I know Planet Fitness is going through a lot right now. Uh, people are boycotting Planet Fitness. It's been trending for, I don't know, the better part of a month. People still discussing, and I, I don't really know that full story. Um, but this new story about Planet Fitness is really ugly. A woman named Lizetta went to uh, cancel her Planet Fitness membership, and she says that uh, <laughs> she got into a bit of an altercation with the person working there, and it ended with him... Uh, At A, and uh, I believe the the employee said, um, "No, I did not." <laughs> and and no. she does not believe him. Um, and that's the whole thing, judgment free zone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. I've yeah, heard that's that. the whole sell, selling point of Planet Fitness. Yeah, so uh, you know, it's it's ugly. I mean, you can't call anybody. She says he called her out of her name, but I think this is way worse. Calling somebody a fat A. Um, but she seems more perturbed that he called out her age in front of other people as well. Yeah. She goes, you looked up my birthday and then called me a 56-year-old fat A? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wait, well, well, you call Ace either. that all the time. A 56-year-old fat A? <laughs> 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 I, so think I guess I'd like you're to on do- the employee side <laughs> of this one. <laughs> maybe. 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 <laughs> this is the Ace and TJ Show. Hey, Radio Family, we've got a new way to win. Ace TJ Prime Rewards. Win great stuff like gift cards, Ace and TJ merch, concert tickets, and exclusive Money Can't Buy experiences. Win it all with Ace TJ Prime Rewards. It's so easy. Download the Ace and TJ Family app in your app store or at acetj.com slash app and start winning with Ace TJ Prime Rewards. New winners every week, fun and free. Get the app and play Ace TJ Prime Rewards. We always knew you were a winner. Now it's your chance to prove it. Get the app today.